sure right off the bat that it was um, what she actually had an ependymoma. Um, but they just weren't sure exactly what grade it how, or how bad it was. We understand they come in grade one and grade two, and grade two being the worst. And once the pathology report came back, hers was a grade two because it had started to spread into her um, the tissue. Uh, so that's why they're being aggressive. It started to spread already. The first day we were there, they put in the EVD shunt to relieve the pressure, and it was external, so it ran into a little tube that they kept by our bed. So it was kind of tough because even to get up to go to the bathroom, we'd have a nurse there to turn everything off, uh, adjust the levels. Everything in the hospital because they had to monitor so closely. How long was she there? What, three weeks. Well, yeah, for a total of three weeks with that surgery, and then we had to go back later on and have a permanent shunt put in because her brain, um, after the surgery, um, they're not exactly sure why her body stopped processing the fluid on its own, but um, they say something about the scar tissue that had built up um, had blocked off the natural tube that they have. It's good as you expect a four-year-old to go to a doctor every day. We just go every morning and we sign in and um, we just go straight back. There's a there's a two bed recovery area that we go to. Then we have to go back to the actual radiation room and it's it's a bed. It's, it's scary. It's, it's scary even for adults. Um, there's a bed there and um, they, they have to put her to sleep every time. And then um, she's done. She comes back to the little room where we were, where we were before and um, she wakes up and we go home. And it's, that's every day for six weeks. But um, she'll have to go to chemo next. And we'll have to do that inpatient for one. She gets like eight different types of chemo with this type of tumor. And we'll have to do inpatient for about four to five days for one of them. She is a very um, interesting little girl. She's very brave and she, she loves to help um, in her classroom with her classmates because she is very smart. She's ahead of the game sometimes on her, her ability. She always comes in with a smile. She's always happy to be at school. They're very strong, to be honest. A lot of things you don't see because they keep their chin up and they're smiling. They're not one to, to say, I want, I want, I need. You know, they just ask for prayers, and those are given for sure. She's a great mom. She is stronger than any person should have to be, but she does it very, very well. It shattered their world. They never, you never really think about something like that happening to your kids. You know, you do everything right, you raise them up right, you feed them what they need, and you teach them what they need to know, and that's just something that's so out of your control that know anything. They just knew she had a tumor in her head. That's all they knew. And they actually didn't find out more until the actual surgery. But they just prayed that she would live. And she did. <laughs>